What's up, guys? Um, Kid, aka Virus, here. Um, I do have some stuff that I do want to speak upon. Now, I'm not going to make it too long, but I am going to make a very valid point of all this shit that's been going on and stuff that does happen for me every day that a lot of y'all might not realize that goes on. And shout out to everybody watching right now. Now... I know some of you guys are thinking what I did yesterday. If you guys did watch the live stream, then what I did was pretty out there. You know, and all of that, I was wrong to a certain extent for posting Adam's number like, you know, I did. But here's something that you guys don't realize. What he's done to me over these past few years is far worse than anything I could ever do to this man. Yeah, I may have put his number out there, but this man did stuff that was far worse than I could ever do. And something you guys don't realize is that I might, you know, talk about, you know, a lot of stuff, but for me, that's how it is. You know, what you guys will realize is that when I step into this booth and I record, I'm like a boxer stepping into the ring with something to prove every day. Yeah. Yeah. But what you guys don't realize is that when I record my songs and I record my music, I'm doing more than just recording another song. I'm putting a piece of me out there for the world to see, for the world to hear. Every time I step into that booth, I'm like a fighter going into the ring, prepared, ready, mentally set. And like a fighter, I've got nothing to lose. And some of you guys might not realize it, but I do face a lot more than you guys think every day. Like, every day, I face a lot more than you guys realize. I mean, yes, as you guys can physically tell, you know, there is a lot wrong with me. Like, you know, I do have bad wrists and ankles, so I occasionally have to wear, you know, wrist braces and ankle braces and stuff every now and then. But that's minor stuff. The stuff that I'm talking about runs deeper for me. Every day I face discrimination and scrutiny against record labels against society because of my physical appearance I get judged every day I face this and some days it's easy to deal with other days it's not so easy and what you guys don't realize is that that is my life every single day that is why I'm not signed ever because of my physical appearance and because of people like Adam. Because of Adam, I lost an amazing record deal yesterday with the record label Red Bull Records. And yes, you can look them up. They do have a website. But because of people like Adam, I lost out on a lot of record deals in the past. And yesterday, when he did what he did to me, I had had enough. And I don't think any of you guys really realize just what 
not only this man did to me, but several other people in the process of me losing the deal because of what he did. This is the type of stuff I face every day. And you guys just don't get it. Like, this is what I face every day. Every day I put my heart, my soul, everything I have into every fucking song that I make. Not just to make it. I don't make music just to make music. See, that's what differs me from other artists. From other people. See, when I record a song, I do it to help somebody. I do it to help save someone's life. Because I know there's people out there like me every day who go through similar stuff that I go through, just like I know a lot of you go through. So, while you guys out there are being accepted by society, every day is a constant fight for me. Every day is a fight. And I'm the fighter in that ring, proving the odds every day. Yeah, I might be a music artist. I get that. Two different worlds. Being a fighter and a music artist. Two separate worlds. Not exactly. See, they're similar in a lot of ways. See, whereas a fighter has to prepare for a fight, a music artist has to prepare to perform, to record, to put himself out there, just as a fighter would. And just like a fighter, a music artist has a lot to lose. A lot of the times they lose a lot of stuff. And me, I lost a, something major yesterday. I lost the biggest record deal of my life yesterday because of this man doing what he did to me. And shout out to everybody tuning in since day one of these live streams, man. You guys are amazing. Because I know there's a lot of you that have been here for the past few years. Some of you new. Some of you have been here since day one. Shout out to every single one of you guys. See, what you guys fail to realize is unlike your typical music artist, I face a lot more. Because of my physical appearance. Because of what I face. Every day. I face agonizing scrutiny. I face discrimination. From record labels. People in my neighborhood. People in society out and about. Who know me and know who I am. I face that every day. But do I let it get to me? I try not to. So you see, I'm more than just a music artist. I'm somebody who's fighting for his family, for a future. So in a way, I guess you could pretty much call me a fighter. That's what I was born doing. That's what I'm going to continue to do, is to fight. Because, hell, I got nothing to lose. And it is true what they say. A fighter is at his most dangerous when he's at rock bottom and he's got nothing to lose. Well, I'm going to tell you, I'm very dangerous. So anybody crossing me in the wrong way, like Adam did yesterday, better watch your ass because you come for me I'm gunning for you right back 
and I'm swinging for the fences. Because that's what I was born to do. And either you're going down or I'm going down. And when I tell you, if I'm going down, I'm going down fucking swinging hard. So for every label out there that wants to run your mouth about me, go ahead. I don't care. Talk your shit. Do what you want. Because at the end of the day, I'm still going to be me. I'm still going to be recording. And I'm going to be right here to whoop your fucking ass when the day comes. If you don't believe me, ask everybody here who knows me, who knows my music, who knows what I've been through. As I said, yes, I was a little heavy handed in doing what I did yesterday when I put it, when I blasted out Adam's phone number yesterday. But what he's done to me and many other people, as I said, is far worse than what I could ever do to that man. I only put his phone number out there. This man belittled me, used me, hurt me, cheated on one of my best friends, hurt some of my best friends and those closest to me. He crossed many lines. He tried to come between me, my friends, and my family, making me look like a bad guy, making him look like the victim, when in reality, he wasn't the victim. He was the antagonist. He was the instigator. He was the one that started all this. So fair warning to anybody out there, even thinking about coming at me, like Adam did, or like anybody has in the past, you better watch your ass. Because I'm telling you, I don't go down without a fucking fight. Because let me tell you something. Something that some of you may or may not know. Okay? I was raised an army brat. Okay? My dad was 82nd Airborne Division, United States Army, Staff Sergeant Paratrooper. And let me tell you something. In those years since I was born, because see, I was an army brat for about 12 years. So I learned the ways of the military and what it's really like. And let me tell you something. One thing I took from that experience of being the son of a military personnel officer is we don't take shit from nobody. I don't give a fuck if you're 10, 12, 30, 40. I don't care. If you're coming at me or any of my friends in my family or anybody on this live stream that knows me and supports me the wrong way, you best believe that every single one of you who bash on us or bash on me or them separately I'm coming to kick your fucking ass. I will blast your ass so fucking hard that you won't even want to be able to be on social media ever again. So fair warning to anybody out there trying to start shit, don't even think about it because it's not going to work. Because quite honestly, I've had enough of this fucking bashing shit. Every day is a fight for me. To prove myself. Not just to my friends, my haters, and my family. But a chance to prove to the world that you can be special needs like myself. And be a successful music artist like myself. That is what I aim to do. That is my ultimate all-around goal. Is to create a major opportunity for people and kids like myself who are serious about music, who want to make it into a career like I'm trying to do. But when it comes to people like Adam 
and everybody out there judging my looks instead of my talents, that's when we have issues. And honestly, the shit needs to end. And you know what, Andrew? Go ahead and laugh all you want, dog. Because you know what, man? You don't know me. You don't know my life and what I go through, man. So before you laugh your ass off, Andrew Jordan, why don't you put yourself in my shoes and what I go through? Because let me tell you something right now, dog. If you went through half the shit that I went through growing up, from birth until now, I guarantee you, your fucking ass wouldn't be laughing right now. You don't know what the fuck I went through. Because let me tell you something. I was not supposed to live past birth. I was born with one kidney and one and a half lungs. Wasn't supposed to live at all. But yet, here I am, 27 years later. Every day is a fight for me, not just in the music world, but medically. Every day, I stare death in the face. And I stare down little punk bitches like you. And I tell them to fuck off. And you want to know why? Because people like you, you might not be small in size, but you got a small motherfucking mind. Yeah, you might be ahead of me musically, but you'll never reach the level of people that I reach out to. You will never know the satisfaction of saving a life like I do. You'll never know what it truly means to be a fighter like I do. You don't know what it's like to watch your brother die for a year and a half from fucking lung cancer. You don't know what it's like to watch your best friend on the news die from a fucking gunshot due to a fucking murder. You don't know what it's like to lose some of your best friends and loved ones over time to tragedies that never should have fucking happened. Every day, even to this day, I watch some of my best friends in the fucking military lose their lives for fucking idiots like you. So if I were you, Andrew Jordan, I'd shut the fuck up and correct myself. Because you don't know what the fuck I go through, homie. Let me tell you something, boy. Because of the shit that I go through, I face more dark shit than you could ever fucking imagine. A lot more dark. And trust me, that's not something you want me to go into. Trust me. So before you go fucking laughing your ass off, family boy, why don't you get to fucking putting yourself in my fucking goddamn shoes? Because compared to me, you ain't shit. Yeah, you might be big in power. You might be big in body-wise. Yeah, you might be big musically, but you got a small motherfucking mind, boy. A real small fucking mind. And let me tell you something right now. Every song that I put out isn't just some bullshit song. It's about real shit that I go through every fucking day of my goddamn life. Because of people like you wanting to hate. Wanting to tear me down. Thinking I'm a joke. And go ahead and think that I'm a joke all you fucking want. Because at the end of the day, not being your little punk ass is a good thing. Because I don't know anybody in the right mind who would want to be your fucking ass. When all you do is you sit there and you come on these live streams and you talk shit. And if you think you're better than me, boy, fucking prove it. I'm here. I'm ready for you to fucking prove me wrong. I'm ready for you to show me up. Because honestly, it looks to me like you ain't nothing but a fucking hide behind the screen little punk ass bitch wannabe fucking keyboard warrior. That's all you look to me, boy. Yeah, you might do music, 
but you want to know something? You can't touch what I do. You can't do shit like I do. So if you want to talk shit, step up to the fucking mic and prove me wrong. Otherwise, shut the fuck up and move the fuck on. Because I ain't got time for little punk bitches like you. Because like I said, you might not be small in size, but your mind is motherfucking tiny. Because all you want to do is run your mouth and start shit. Because let me tell you something, little boy. You don't know half the shit that I've fucking gone through. I've seen men, grown-ass fucking men, die, be drugged out, dead bodies, within 24 motherfucking hours of my life, of being in a fucking prison cell. I've watched my best friends, my family, those close to me die from murder, drugs, cancer, diseases. And do you know what that's like? No. I've watched some of my best friends in the military be drugged away on the fucking news because they gave their life up for little fucking punk ass bitches like you so you can spit your whack ass bullshit. So before you go stepping to me the wrong way, boy, you better fucking learn to act right. You better fucking man up and put up or shut up. That's right, Andrew Jordan. I'm calling your ass out, boy. You want to fucking step to me and do this shit? Then step to the fucking mic and settle it. You want to do something? Then fucking knuckle up and do something about it? Or shut the fuck up and back down. You want to do something, man? Here I am. Fucking do something. Because you don't know the fucking blood, sweat, and tears that I give up every fucking day of my life for this shit. Yeah, you might not like what I do. But guess what? It ain't up to you, dog. It's up to everybody else. Because, Andrew Jordan, you ain't nothing but a fucking weak-ass little motherfucking keyboard typing wannabe bitch. And I guarantee you, you don't step up to the mic, you're just going to look like a fucking idiotic fool, man. So if you got something to say, step up on a live stream, or better yet, don't. Step up to the mic and fucking say something. Do something about it. I fucking dare you. Hell, as a matter of fact, here. I'll give you this. I'll fucking mail you this fucking mic. I'll mail you this fucking mic so you can fucking do something. Because unlike you, I've got a good setup. Yeah, it might not be the best in the world. But I guarantee it is better than what you got. Because you ain't got shit on me. I'm a fucking fighter. You're not. I'm here. You ain't. I save lives. You sit on your ass talking shit and trash to people. That's all you fucking do. Every day I bust my ass to save motherfucking lives. Every day, I fucking write and create music to help that one kid that's going through the worst shit that they could ever imagine. So don't think for a single second that I'm going to take your little punk ass lightly. Because all you are is a fucking waste of air. That's all you are. With your fucking hating bullshit comments, you're just another motherfucking waste of air. You're a fucking poor excuse for a human being, Andrew Jordan. Yeah, you might not like what I do, but I don't give a fuck about what you or any other motherfucker out there who's hating on me thinks. 
the only thing I care about is being right here in my studio recording music for those that need it. The only thing I give a fuck about is saving lives through my music. The only thing I give a fuck about is helping out those that truly need the help. And fighting back against arrogant, pompous fucking assholes like you who think they're badasses. When they ain't nothing but a motherfucking wannabe joke. And let me tell you something, bruh. You might say you have good music, which I'm not going to lie. You do have a few good songs. Not going to lie. But for you to act like a fucking pompous ass windbag like you are, you ain't shit. Your music might be something, but your personality fucking sucks. You need to fucking humble up, boy. You need to start realizing that there are people out there like myself who don't have it made like you got it. See, I learned everything on my own from the ground up. Unlike you, I didn't have family or friends to teach me how to do what I do. I had to learn everything on my own. I had to do everything from the ground up. I had to teach myself how to make good beats. I had to teach myself how to record, mix, master. I had to teach myself everything, how to do it the proper way on my own with no fucking help. And let me tell you something, that takes real fucking skills, which is something you obviously lack. So unlike you, I have a true appreciation for music. Unlike you, I can hold my own. I don't know about you, but I guarantee you, any motherfucker on this live stream that sees the shit you're talking, they're going to fucking call your ass out. So basically, you done fucked yourself over, boy. So don't think that, you know, people ain't going to see this live stream and not see what you're saying, dog. Like, it's fucking ridiculous, bro. Like, you act like you're a fucking hard ass. Coming on these live streams, fucking sitting there acting stupid. When it's like, bro, you ain't shit to me. You ain't shit to anybody here. Like, what's it going to take to get it through to you that you ain't nothing but a fucking wannabe joke? That's all you are, Andrew Jordan, is a motherfucking joke. Because let me tell you something. Unlike you, I'm a champion to these fucking people. I'm a hero to some of these people. Because my music helps them. Because a lot of the situations that they're going through, I've been through. And my music helps them get through that. Whether it's dealing with the death of a loved one, whether it's dealing with somebody that's got cancer, whether it's dealing with the loss of a friend or being bullied. See, you don't know what that's like because you've never been on the ends of it like I have been. Yeah, I might be sounding like a victim, but you know what? Better to be a victim than to be a fucking pompous ass wannabe little fucking bitch like you who ain't got nothing better to do than to sit here on live streams and talk shit about people. And I do apologize to those of you that I am getting worked up, but this little motherfucker needs to learn his lesson. And I'm going to be making an example of this little fucking faggot every fucking live stream that he pops in on. I guarantee you that much. As a matter of fact, I'll read off one of these comments that he said. And let you guys judge for yourselves what you guys think about him. You should have died then. I wouldn't be roasting your ugly, bald-headed, retarded ass. Now y'all tell me that don't sound like a diss on me. And that's funny, dude. You know, you, you're, you're funny. You're funny, Andrew. <laughs> let me tell you. You know this a little about my life, and yet you think you fucking know me. And that roast wasn't a fucking roast, dog. A five-year-old could come up with a better fucking roast than that. Hell, I could come up with a better roast than that just by looking at your fucking profile. 
So you don't want to go there with me, boy. Yeah, I might look bald. I might be smaller than you in size. But I guarantee fucking to you, my lyrics have a lot more shit that has to do with shit that is real compared to your fucking wannabe fucking mainstream bullshit. So before you step to me, why don't you put yourself in my shoes and humble the fuck up? And yes, I am issuing this challenge to you, Andrew Jordan. Either you step up to the mic and knuckle up, or you don't step up to the mic, look like an asshole, and shut the fuck up. That's your choice. Either knuckle up or shut up. If you want to step up to the mic, then do it. If not, stop acting like a fucking wannabe. Because that's all you're ever going to be. You're just pissed off that you can't be me. That's all it is. You're fucking pissed that you'll never be me. Because unlike you, I get messages from fans every motherfucking day of my life saying how my music helps them. Yeah, I might not be out there yet, but I'd rather not be out there and be saving lives rather than to be a motherfucking mainstream sellout like you. Because that's all you are is a motherfucking mainstream sellout. Yeah, I might run with the underground. I'm fine with that. But I'd rather do that than be another motherfucking mainstream robot like your fucking ass. It's time you woke up, Andrew Jordan, and saw the truth of shit. So like I said, this is your motherfucking challenge, boy. The ball's in your court now. You want to fucking shut me down? Go ahead. I don't give a fuck. Because I guarantee you the minute you fucking roast me on the mic, I'll take that track and I'll throw it back at you fucking tenfold. Ask anybody here. I've got the balls to fucking do it and I will do it. So go ahead. Do something, boy. And as for the rest of you guys, for all my fans out there, I love every single one of you guys. I love all my supporters, my friends, my family. I love you guys. Keep listening to my music. And I'll see y'all in the next live stream. And as for you, Andrew Jordan, you got 24 hours to respond to this challenge. Either you put a diss track out on me, or I embarrass you in front of the whole world. Take your pick, boy. You got 24 hours. If not, huh, I'll just fucking blast your ass. And put an end to your fucking career. With that being said, guys, love y'all. Peace.